very good morning to all of you today we are going to discuss a very important law that is ohm's law a german physicist george simon ohm established a relationship between current potential difference and resistance ohm's law gives a relationship between current and potential difference and according to ohm's law at constant temperature the current flowing through a conductor is directly proportional to the potential difference across its end so at this condition at constant pressure the current flow the current which is flowing through a conductor will be directly proportional to the potential difference or i can say voltage across its end now according to ohm's law potential difference is directly proportional to current or we can say v or potential difference equal to r into i where r is a constant resistance of the conductor and we will discuss this term in detail afterwards this resistance we are going to discuss afterwards but here you have to remember that when we remove this proportionality when we remove this proportionality from here we get a constant r and the name of this constant is resistance this can also be written as this equation this equation can also be written as like this current equal to v by r so where v is the potential difference i is the current and r is the resistance which is constant so the above equation is the mathematical expression for ohm's law this is the mathematical expression from for ohm's law and it is obvious from this relation that current is directly proportional to the potential difference that is i is directly proportional to the potential difference v and the current is inversely proportional to resistance also current is inversely proportional to the resistance so this is ohm's law which gives relationship between voltage or potential difference current and resistance which is constant now the vi graph if a graph is drawn between the potential difference and the corresponding current the graph is found to be a straight line or we can say the graph comes out to be linear passing through the origin a straight line graph can be obtained only when the two quantities are directly proportional to one another here current and potential difference are directly proportional to each other so that's why the graphs comes out to be a straight line since the current potential difference graph is a straight line we conclude from here that current is directly proportional to the potential difference now what are the conclusions that we can draw from the ohm's law so since the current is directly proportional to potential difference this we know from this ohm's law that current is directly proportional to the potential difference applied across the ends of a conductor it means that if the potential difference across the ends of a conductor is doubled the current flowing through it also gets double so here if the potential difference gets twice if i say twice 2v so the current the value of current will also becomes twice why because current and potential difference are directly proportional to each other and what is the meaning of directly proportional directly proportional means if one quantity increases the other quantity will also increase so if here the potential difference gets doubled the current also gets doubled in the same way if the potential difference is halved now from the same relation from this relation only if the potential difference gets halved the current also gets halved now on the other hand we know that the current is also inversely proportional to resistance just like this inversely proportional to resistance 
and what do you mean by inversely proportional it means if one quantity is increasing then another quantity is decreasing so if the resistance is doubled if resistance increases the current gets half so if the resistance doubled up the current gets half and in the same way if the resistance is half the current gets doubled by this relation current is inversely proportional to the resistance thus the strength of an electric current in a given conductor depends on these two factors that is potential difference across the ends of the conductor and the resistance of the conductor so current basically depends on potential difference and resistance of the conductor so now in the next class we will discuss the electrical resistance of a conductor in detail i hope you understood this ohm's law what is ohm's law the vi graph for ohm's law and what are the conclusions that we can draw from the ohm's law thank you